God is amazing. He's absolute. He's divine. He's a, he's a mighty, awesome sovereign father that we serve. And most of us, we, we don't understand the, the levers of God. So we place the levers of God like the levers of man. But we have to understand that the levers of God is supreme. Is a, is a mystery. No one can truly identify who God is and, and where God is. For God is truly a mystery. Welcome to the mystery of the ages. I'm here with us, uh, Chief Paranka, one of the most powerful men that I ever met uh, be around. And this man has so much secret within himself. When he speaks, you can see the power of God lies in him through the shadows of eternity. I want Chief Paranka to identify himself to the congregation. Of course, my name is Paranka Tyler. Chief of the Arawaks and the Tailors of Jamaica. And I'm glad to be here today with my cousin, Prophet, to discuss the mysteries of the Mosai. Yes, so so we, we want to talk about the, the mystery of God, how God reigned victorious through the earth. Because we hear many theory, we, we follow many theory, we, because whatever our great grandma, grandpa, mother, auntie, whatever they, they believe, we, we start to believe the same thing, but it, it's time for, for tradition people start to read the Bible for themselves, start to seek God for themselves, start to seek the divine, the divine Holy Father, to know who God truly is, because you have to value God just like how you value yourself or you value your assets because God is not a God that he should lie God is not a God that he should change God don't change he stay forever and he remain forever until forever and forever and forever we, we want uh, to talk uh, about the mystery of the ages chief we, we want to, to know who really control the earth? Because if you look around before Jesus, generation used to live uh, 3,000 years, mm -hmm. 5,000 years. The Bible states Abraham lived 700 years. But after Jesus come with the sacrificial blood that spilled on the earth, died to save Christian generation from their sin, realize that this generation only lived for maybe a hundred years, 70 years. How could that be? Let's get back to Jesus as the Messiah, as you were saying. They were influenced by the Roman Empire. Yes. And don't forget that the tribe of Judah was influenced by the Greek Empire. Yes. So you see, once that influence, once a person gets influenced by a Babylonian Empire, it's moving them away from knowing about the Messiah. So this is what the problem is, you know. If you go back to the basic, the foundation of culture, then way back some millions of years ago, who were we depending on as the Mosai? Who did, did we see as the Mosai? What was the mystery then? Because we saw the sun as the living yes, entity. As a living entity. Right? That was doing everything. Now look at this carefully. If the Mosai had created man way back some millions of years ago and put men on the earth and did not educate men, Man would be like a monkey running around, don't have any yes, knowledge. That's true. So how do we learn about the outside world? How do we know that there's something outside there? A monkey wouldn't know that. A monkey would never know that. Right. Yes. So it would take some divine powers from outside to come inside here and to give our divine ancestors, or our earthly ancestors, the divine knowledge or the knowledge of external affairs that's taking place outside the planet. So there must be some great intelligence hiding from us. Of course, but uh, all right, let's get to the Torah. Let us create man. Let's get the earth was void and darkness filled the earth. Yes. Who could write that? A human could write that? No. <laughs> so um, so the how, <laughs> how could a human know that in the beginning yes. there was darkness, there was desolation, desolation, and God said, let there be light. Right. Who was there when God was speaking? That it, and, and, and that it has to be, and then you see, we look now at the us. In the Aramic Hebrew now, we come up with the name of our ancestor, the yes. Elohim. In Egypt, we call them Netero. Right? It's these beings. And these are the beings that's writing the scripture. That is why they said, let us create man in our tetlim and our demut, in our image 
and our likeness is to show you that they have an image also when they personify as human oh. and the likeness is the soul which is a spiritual existence so they created you and i like them and let's make a thing clear too that it is you and i because of the dominance of our dna yes everything has to come from our dna so if he's going to create man he's going to create man from a dominant perspective so it would have to be some divine force out there Yes. That is creating the human. And then the greatest mystery on earth yes. is the body of the human. That's the greatest mystery. <laughs> and the most and complex thing is your brain. And wherever the, the soul lies, it attracts flesh. Yes. Yes, with the soul yes. and spirit. The soul, no, with the body and the spirit, we give birth to a soul. So I want to, to go to the, the most influenced men of God. Because if Jesus is the most influenced man of God, then we want to know if Jesus can truly earth, or he is the, the truly son of God, or he is the one that instruct man upon the earth. I, I want to, to start with uh, Selassie to see if Selassie is more close to God than Jesus. But when I look forward, Selassie have a mother, so he were born. He have a father, and he, he born, so he have a beginning. And also Selassie have an ending, he died. So Selassie could not have any influence to the Almighty because a man that has a beginning and an ending could not be God. <laughs> so we will cross out Selassie as God. Right, Let us go to Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> Buddha have a mother, he have a father. Mm -hmm. He have a beginning, that means he born. He have an ending, that means he died. So he could not even have a person close to the Almighty, the Divine Holy Father. Not even a billion percent close. Because he have a beginning, he have an ending, he born, he died, he have a mother, he have a father. So he could not be God. Let us go to a, the Muslim gods. What they call him, what they, they want to call him. He also have a beginning. He have an ending. We call him Muhammad. Muhammad have a beginning. He have an ending. He have a mother. He have a father. So he could not be God. So let us cross out all of them as a theory. <laughs> and here is so. Let us go to the Almighty Jesus, the right. Christ that we were talking about now. And I want you to step in after I explain about Jesus. Right. Jesus don't have a father so jesus is one step closer to god than selassie muhammad and those guys because he don't have a father so you could say he have some more influence than them but jesus have a beginning he born he have an ending because he was crucified <laughs> so he could not be god <laughs> Okay. So let us move from Jesus, cross him out as a theory, and go to Adam. Do Adam have a beginning? Do Adam have an ending? Do Adam have a mother? Do Adam have a father? I will leave that space for you after I step <laughs> from Adam to a man called Melchizedek. Okay. Okay. Melchizedek have more influence than Jesus because he don't, no one know where he come from. They have no history. He have no beginning. He have no mother. He have no father. So we would more vote Melchizedek as a percent as one of the most influenced men close to God than even Jesus, Selassie, Muhammad, and all those guys. What do you say about Adam and Eve? No, the first thing you know, is that we could get back to the culture and look at some of these things yes. because most of these things that we're learning we were taught these things see now we, we go to the torah and we're beginning to read about adam and eve the name is not adam the name is zakar, zakar. 
And the name is not Eve, the name is Nakeba. I am open to learn something. Okay, yes. no, this, yeah, this is where we're going now. Because Thank you. one of the reasons for changing that yes. is because it's too African. Yes. You see, when you say Zakar, it's not English. When you say Nakeba, it sounds more African. These Thank are you. the original names of the people now. Yes. All right. Now, the story of Adam, if you notice, the most I sent the scientists down to earth to operate on Adam. Yes. The true story goes like this, you see. Adam has a mother and father. His father's name is Atum, and his mother's name is Lelit. Lelit. Yes. And Eve's mother's name is Pa, and her mother's name is Anat. Yes. So what they were doing, actually, is that they were taking species from these people to create these people. And go back to the original reason why was because there was an incident that happened on the planet Rish where they came from, where a gold dust environment they had. So the devil's father, Tarnush, had depleted the tree sun they had. So they had to come down to earth to get gold. Notice in Genesis, they said, the gold of the land is good. They make sure they tell you about gold because that's what Adam was created for. He was to bring the gold from South Africa, Mona Dapa, to the garden. Yes. So they create this mortal as a slave. You see? So they had to take specimens from Atum and Lilith, which was a tribe called the Kutai tribe on the earth that caused from the, the Nephilians that came down and mixed with the original black pygmies yes. and gave birth to the Kutai tribe. So they took specimen from Atum and Lilith and from Adam and from Anat and, and, and Pa, right? Which are the two, they are the bush tribe ones and yes. create Eve. So this is what was going on in the okay. garden. So they do have mother and father. It's what they're teaching us from it. You see, because they're actually reading the book of Genesis is not the real Torah. If you get in the Torah, no, you get the names of all the women, you get the names of all the men, and those are not mentioned in the Bible. But, but um, the, the power of God could not flow through Adam as God then, because he have a mother, then he have a father. But, so the only, the only one that we could vote our self and is Melchizedek. Is Melchizedek. All right. Well, Melchizedek. Can Jesus be Melchizedek? No, because remember, in the book of Hebrews 7, now this Melchizedek is an extraterrestrial. Yes. You're going to be surprised. Because when you get back to the scroll and read about him, he's the angel Michael from up there. Yes. And he comes to earth at the end of every cycle. Because the earth is divided into cycles of 6,000 years. 6 four is 24,000. That's when the history is renewed on, on the earth. So he would appear at the end of each cycle to give us about the past, the present, and the future. Yes. He was with Abraham in Genesis 14, 18. He was with Daniel in Daniel 7, 9. And he, he was in Hebrew and made Jesus a high priest after his order. So it's to show that he's a high supreme being of high standard. But when he comes into the earth, every extraterrestrial that comes into the earth has to have a mother and father. You know? Yes. Is the most I can come and have a mother and father, you know, but if they come into the earth to do an earth job, they have to take on one third of mommy gene and one third of daddy gene, yes. and then the other one third is themselves. See, so they have to have a mother and father. But when we're talking about the most, I know it's different thing we're talking about. We're talking about the masters that have the power to become flesh, you know. But um, I am looking at a vision, a dream that really come in the reality into time, but. It's a dream. I, I look at the, the technology, the satellite that connect phones together. I am in Jamaica and my bishop is in Canada. Bishop body is dead. I, my body in Jamaica is dead. For, for bishop to speak to me from Canada and from me to speak to Bishop from Jamaica, we need a combination and a language, also a sound. You, you call it, it coming down from water, earth, dust, wind, fire. So first for the, the cell phone to activate, then you have to enter a language and also a combination. The technology world will give us a 13-digit number. They call it a cell phone card. You enter the cell phone number. Maybe you enter number one, which is also a letter, a combination. But it also have a pronunciation. We call it 
O N E, which is one. Mm -hmm. If you enter seven, it also have a language, sure, sure. which you have to spell it as mm -hmm. S E V E N. Mm -hmm. So you have to enter the language also with the combination, the number. Mm -hmm. After you enter the combination, the language, the number, the sound, then you will get a text to show you that the, the phone is now operating with a percent of life. But you still cannot go to a hundred percent until you enter a next combination, which is my bishop number, to court him in Canada. So number, as we are at a level of a dream. We enter the combination, but we are not 100% there. So for us to 100% there, we have to enter a next combination to reach the Divine Holy Father. So to reach the Divine Holy Father, to reach Bishop in Canada, no, you have to get Bishop number. Remember, you have billions of numbers. Maybe you dial a number and get technician. You dial the next number, you get a deacon. But the truth of the fact, we need bishop number. So many of us, we pray, and maybe the spirit answer you, because it is the spirit combination you have. You pray, and the next ancestors answer you, because the ancestors combination you have. But we want the divine, holy, for the connection. So I enter bishop telephone number. Bam, his phone started to ring with my picture and a video call in Canada. Within seconds, he answered me. I can see him in Canada. He can see me in Jamaica. So we connected with satellite. The picture that Bishop see on the phone is me, but is also not me. The picture that 